Ms. Carmen, you're sharing your screen. Yes, that's right. I'm doing that now. And I'm sharing okay. my screen. Sorry. My bad. Okay. Welcome to Cyan's exhibition. Um, Cyan is our sixth person to present this week. And uh, Cyan, we, I hope you've grown more and more confident over the week while you've watched other people present. And, I'm, and I'm sh I know you've been practicing a lot. Um, I'm really looking forward to hearing your presentation. So I'm going to um, first hand over to Mr. Phil and Ms. Amanda. Welcome to UWC East Africa, a Russia campus. We're on day three of our PYP exhibition. Yeah, it's really exciting. We're halfway through. We've had four and we've got four more to go. And we really can't wait to join in the celebration of learning. Absolutely. And so our message to the ones today is good, good luck. luck. Okay, Cyan, over to you. Okay. So our exhibition theme falls under who we are. My central idea is people have the responsibility to make green lifestyle choices. My line of inquiry is upcycling is a green lifestyle choice everyone can make. The impact of upcycling and upcycling versus recycling versus downcycling. Please note the following. This Zoom session will be recorded. So please can you mute your mic and switch off your video? And can you please put comments and questions in the chat box? I will answer them at the end and please be respectful and polite. Form. What is the difference between upcycling, recycling, and downcycling? Upcycling is unlike recycled products. Upcycled pieces retain and sometimes even enhance the look and feel of the original discarded materials. For example, turning a newspaper into a newspaper bag. Recycling. Recycling is when the action or process of converting waste into re reusable material. For example, to donate books or sell any books that you no longer read. Downcycling. Downcycling involves converting valuable products into low value. For example, creating recycled paper from paper. Function. What are different upcycling initiatives in Africa? EcoShoes. Mabel Suglo is the co-founder of EcoShoes, a Ghanan-based social enterprise. She employs people with disabilities. This was inspired because she saw a disabled person being mistreated for begging. They make shoes out of old tires and cloth. Dunia Designs. Dunia Designs is a company founded by Alexis. It focuses on up, upcycling and recycling. Alexis was inspired by his wife, who challenged him to start an eco-friendly company that tackles waste in Tanzania. Chaco Zanzibar. Chaco Zanzibar is an upcycling and recycling company based in Zanzibar. Zanzibar is a popular tourism spot. Therefore, a lot of waste is created. Chaco means yours in Swahili. The founder of the company has chosen to stay anonymous. The following slides will show you how you can upcycle some products at home. A tin can into a pencil holder. This shows how you, that you can turn a tin can into a pencil or marker holder. Newspapers into newspaper bag. If you read newspaper, why not upcycle it? Tires into tire chair. Change discarded tires into comfortable seats. Old drawer into bookshelf. You have an old drawer in your house. Instead of putting it in the store, you can make a bookshelf out of it. Old piano into the bookshelf. This is on the more complicated side of upcycling, turning an old grand piano into a bookshelf. Old bathtub into couch. I'm sure not a lot of you have an old bathtub lying around in your house, but if you do, why not put it to good use and make a couch? Tennis rackets into mirrors. I'm sure a lot of you have tennis rackets at your house. Well, why not make a mirror and it has a stylish look? 
As you guys can see, there are, there are many things you can upcycle if you have the right mindset. Causation. Why and how has the need for upcycling changed over time? 1994. Upcycling was coined by Rainer Pills. 1996 and 2002. Upcycling became popular around this period of time because it looked good and it was also necessary. 2010. 2010. After the financial, financial cra crash, upcycling increased dramatically in popularity on popular websites. 2015, the giant sports company Adidas announced a collaboration with the designers from GG firm. This deal in entailed the, the manufacturing of the shoe and made completely from upcycled materials such as yarn and plastic. Over 21 small items of, of furniture were thrown away in the UK. To create awareness for the people events, such as the European Week of Waste Reduction Showcase, showcase the best London's upcycling furniture. This would give people some ideas and inspiration to upcycle themselves and encourage them, and encourage them to make a positive impact on the environment. Connection. How can upcycled products be, be used to, de to benefit the daily life? Specifically, how can you upcycle products? How can upcycled products be used in the field of construction and architecture? Lendegar Group. A house in Denmark built entirely out of recycled materials. Their upcycling solutions range from turning champagne corks into surprisingly refined floors, compressing, um, compressing newspapers into um, facade boards, and reusing windows from a school in Copenhagen. Perspective. These are all the questions I sent out for my survey. I got 25 responses. Have you ever upcycled? Based on the, of this pie chart, it is evident that almost three quarters of UWC community has upcycled. Do you think upcycling is a new concept? Upcycling is a fairly new concept because it was first recorded around the mid 19th century in World War II. What is upcycling? Upcycling is defined as taking a waste material and turning it into something of higher quality. Therefore, it can be said that a substantial amount of people within the UWC community are familiar with the basis of upcycling. For all the people who, who are wondering, profile means, I don't know. Do you think upcycling has an impact on the environment? According to the survey, 96% of the survey takers believe that upcycling has a significant impact on the environment. 4% says otherwise. How do you think upcycling has changed over time? My favorite answers. Yes, it has because people are more creative. This is one of my favorite ones because it's true. People have become more creative. If you look at the project back then compared to now, I think intentionally, upcycling was a foreign hippie concept only practiced by pure environmentalists, but now it's much more common among even the slightly environmental conscious population. This is one of my favorite ones because it explains upcycling quite well. It was practiced by environmentalists a long time ago, but now almost everyone does it. Responsibility. What impact does the tire industry have on the environment? Can you see it, Cyan? Yeah, I just got it. Okay. What are tires made of? 24% synthetic rubber is plastic polymer, 19% natural rubber. The rest of it is made up of, 
of metals and other compounds. Modern car tires use seven gallons of oil and truck tires use 22 gallons of oils to make. What impacts do tires have on the environment? When tires begin to wear off, they throw off small pieces of plastic polymers that end up in waterways. This threatens marine life as some fish species mistake the rubber as food and this causes devastating impacts. Tire waste is contributing to climate change and ocean pollution. Let's look at reality. According to the EPA and the RMA, some 290 million tires are discarded in the United States each year. Over 81% of these are upcycled or recycled in some way. This can be compared to the 1990s where only 11% of tires were reused, recycled or upcycled. What can you do to tackle tire waste in Arusha? There are, there are a number of ways to deal with useless tires. Firstly, you can, you can take it to a recycling center such as Dunia Designs here in Arusha. You can also take it, you can also take the unwanted tire to, to spare distributors who can find ways to repurpose the tire. What are ways people reuse tires and upcycle tires in Tanzania? Masai shoes, wheelbarrows, swings, playgrounds, stools, and belts. My action. For well, my action, I chose to take inspiration from Alexis and decided to make a chair from tires. In order to develop my own, my own original tire chair, I seeked assistance from Miss Carmen and my parents, my sister, Miss Anouk, and Pinterest. From there, I was able to create my own tire chair. Why I chose this action? I chose this action because when I was talking to my parents about my exhibition, I had the idea of a tire chair, but I didn't have a clear picture of what I could do. So I looked at Pinterest and I got some ideas of how I could make it. I chose to go with, with this specific design because it challenged me. In addition, to all this, I wanted to create an original product. Sketch of drawing. Supplies, old tires, manila thread, spray paint, protective gear, and nuts and bolts. Where can I get these materials? For the discarded tires, you can ask around for useless tires or go to spare part shops, mechanics. And if, and if they have any tires they are not using. For the spray paint and manila thread, you can, you can get it at any arts and crafts store. For the gloves and masks, you can purchase them at a pharmacy. If you cannot find a mask, you can use a cloth to cover your mouth, cover your nose and mouth. My step-by-step -step instruction, I'll cover this in a video later on. Safety hazards, please remember to wear masks and gloves because of the safety hazards. Toxic fumes from drilling and spray painting, rope burn can lead to skin peeling. Make sure if anyone is near you without the requirements, kindly tell them to leave. If you're a child, make sure you get adult help for drilling. These are mainly for kids who are interested in making these tire chairs. Final product. This is my final product of my tire chair. It is very, it is a very durable tire chair. It is waterproof and comfortable. And when you sit on it, you should feel good about yourself because you know you contributed to saving the environment. 
reflection of making the tire chair. The positives of building this chair, this, this tire chair, was the fun it came with, like spray painting the tires, etc. Well, the process of building it was hard. I got quite a lot of injuries like rope burn and a sore throat because of the smell of the burning plastic. I was wearing a mask and gloves. I did get enough help from my gardeners to build it. So my Swahili connection is like a uh, is a biography. Mimi nina itwa Sayan, nina ishi Arusha, nina umri la miaka kumi na moja, nilizaliwa Arusha Tanzania, nina na nina penda sana kucheza chezo wa pira wa go na golf sana. Mimi nina ishi na mama na baba na kaka na dada. Mama na ishi nyumbani, baba anafanya Biashara, Kaka Yuko um, Chuoni, um, Nadadia, and Soma UWC. Shule Yangu, um, Ilikua Nzuri Sana, Lakini, Sasa Tume Funga, Kwasababu Ya COVID 19. Nina Kumbuka Shule, Na Rafiki Yangu. French Connection. My French Connection is like Upcycling. Ma presentation par le sous-cyclage. Le sous-cyclage est important parce que sur une façon de de sever il environment. Si vous um, utilisez le sous-cyclage, vous, vous avez tendance à vous sentir souci clair de pneu ou de genou afin de créer une petite genou style ou petite chaise confortable c'est aussi simple que ça this is my 2d art this this art is showing an tire falling into a ma magical dustbin, which which then turns it into a tire chair. Three D art. This three D art is a representation of two halves, one upcycled and the other not upcycled. Personal reflection. I chose upcycling because I was almost shocked how you could turn a, a waste material into something of higher quality. Like my first exhibition idea was green architecture, but I was told by my teacher and my mentor I might not be able to finish it in time, in the time that we had. I had exhibition, but my favorite was researching about upcycling. I got to expand my knowledge. The most interesting part I learned was that in World War II, there were some forms of upcycling because upcycling sounds like a very modern thing. My biggest challenge was actually finding, the, finding information because, because I think Google doesn't have many uh, articles on upcycling because people are more familiar with recycling. Acknowledgements, Ms. Carmen, Ms. Anouk, Ms. Kate, uh, Vikramjeet Agarwal, Sabira Agarwal, Alexis and Sarah Agua. References. Congratulations, Sian. Well done. Um, it's been quite challenging in these strange times, but you, you did it. And I hope you really enjoyed the process and I hope you enjoyed sharing it today with your family and your friends and everyone. Well done. Cyan, in the beginning, you really grappled about what to do for your exhibition and um, and how to make it meaningful to you. And I think you really chose a great topic in the end. I think, again, this is a very relevant topic for today. Um, I love looking at your timeline and seeing the reasons why people have upcycled in the past and um, looking at, look, first of all, for the lack of resources and having to reinvent stuff and remake stuff out of old goods and then looking more at an environmental impact. And I think in today's time, 
yes, it might be environmental, it might be because of lack of resources, but I think it can also be a therapeutic thing and a creative outlet for people while they are at home. Um, I think you've put together a great presentation, well done for all your hard work, and you're done. I'm very proud of you. Okay. Um, I do always love how those those uh, mental mental videos stop in interesting places. Um, okay, Cyan, I am going to um, read some. I'm going to read some questions for you. Or everyone saying good luck, woohoo, well done, you've got this. Um, um, let me first go to the first question. We still talk, okay. Um, what is your favorite upcycled item? My favorite upcycled item is probably a tire chair because it's like big and it's like nice to sit on. It's very comfortable. Okay. <clears throat> Aiden says he should try and make some stuff. Um, what gave you this idea? Um, Delida, um, the idea, I don't know if you can write the idea for the tire chair or for the idea of the exhibition. Well, maybe you can type it in and I'll get back to you. Um, um, if you would, if you would choose, if you had to do the exhibition again, which subject would you choose? I'd probably choose recycling. Okay. And um, Samuel asks, have you ever upcycled? We know you upcycled the tires, anything yeah. else? Okay. Um, um, okay. Um, what is your favorite? Okay. We've answered that. Um, we use a tire as a dog bed. That's a really great idea, um, Aiden. Um, which one used the most upcycled, recycled, or downcycle? Use the most what, Malika? Which one is used the most? Maybe that's what she's asking. Which one do you think is the most popular? Upcycling, recycling, or downcycling? Definitely um, recycling. Okay. Most um, people are more familiar with it. Okay. Where can you buy a tire belt in Arusha? Um, maybe in the local market. Okay. Um, how long did it take you to make the slideshow? Uh, probably like three weeks. Okay. Miss Ali, wants, uh, Miss Ali says, very cool chair, Cyan. She loves the idea very much. Aiden says, where can I get one of those chairs? They look comfy. Aiden, why don't you make one yourself? Following? Cyan's video. <laughs> well done, Cyan. Everything is fabulous, and I like the most um, simplest explanations on how to make the tire chair. Well done. Very good. Attention to detail. Well done. Um, final product looks great. Good job, Cyan. Nice job. Very good. Almost done, Cyan. Well done. Um, lots of detail. Well done. Did your exhibition turn out the way you wanted it to? Asks Miller. Yeah, I did. Okay. Good job, good job. Thank you for the ideas you gave us. Um, good job from Troy. <laughs> um, thanks, Cyan. I learned a lot from Blake. Um, okay, the chair looks amazing. I wish I could have it. Pow, you can maybe make your own one. How, how long did it take you to make the chair? Asked Tanya from Mushi. Um, So like one chair would probably take me an hour because it doesn't take that long actually. Okay, um, from Bannon, well done. Congratulations, Cyan. Mr. Chris, Miss Kate and Bannon are inspired to find something to upcycle now. Well done for inspiring other people, Cyan. Um, what do you plan on doing with the tire chair? So I plan to put them in school. Uh, in school. Okay, great. How many did you make, Cyan? I made six. Ah, congratulations. Really? Wow. I didn't even know that. No, well that's done. really cool. So one um, for each member of your family. <laughs> uh, no, I'm just gonna put them like in a classroom. Ah, nice. it would have been great for our class this year, hey? Yeah. More. How, uh, okay, we've answered that one. Um, okay, what advice would you give for P5s um, who have to do the exhibition next year? You should just be confident and I think you can get easily get through it. Okay. Um, 
can you buy used tires near the, oh, sorry, Ms. Ann Joyce is saying you can buy used tires near the central market. Um, there's a bank called Amana. Okay, for those of you that want to have a, um, want to try and make a tire chair, that's where you can buy some tires. You are now almost finished primary. Are you excited for M1? Yes, I am. Great. Okay, well done, Cyan. Woohoo! Um, I am going to ask everyone to turn on their videos. And you can, I can unmute you all. We're all in M1 Ooh. now. Paired out of the dark. Hey, Cyan! Hey, Good job, Saya. Good job, Saya. Good job. Good job, Saya. Good job, Never got tired of that presentation. This book was amazing. We're done with primary now. Now you can retire from the project. My sister says I'm going to be bad. Give me the report. I need to quickly mute everyone as I feel there is an important message. Malika, you are not on the six yet. You've got five more weeks left. So it's not holiday yet. And a lot more work still to go. A whole new year. Why five weeks? <laughs> That's too long. Cyan, well done. Congratulations. We have five more weeks. Well done, Cyan. Well done. Oh, well done, Cyan. Bye, everyone. Thank you, Cyan. Thank you, Mama Cyan and Baba Cyan. Bye, bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye, Cyan. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.